Hey guys, Charles here. Um, yeah, so really quick, this is going to be kind of informal. I'm just going to do a really quick review of my impression of the iPad 2. Yeah, it's Zoe and Marley. Pretty, pretty hilarious photo. Um, versus the iPad 1. Um, and that would be that right there. I, I'm not very good at this. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys my opinions on the two and just show you uh, the differences. Um, very, very little. But this will be kind of like an informal thing for, you know, iPad 2. Colon, is it worth it? Semicolon, it's pretty cool. Double, triple colon, but it's super expensive and it's pretty much the same as the iPad 1. Comma, yeah. Dot, 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 or ellipsis. If you want to do that. Okay, so first off, the obvious, it's obviously smaller. So this, this is pretty much the difference. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get a head on. Okay. Oh my god, how do I figure this out? You'd think... You know, being in front of a camera right there. So that's the difference right there between the iPad 1 and the iPad 2. Um, actually, when you, you know, when you kind of hold them in your hands and kind of go like this back and forth, um, they pretty much weigh the same. Uh, there's really not that much of a difference um, between the weight. Um, I'm actually not sure exactly what the uh, official weight is, but to be honest, pretty much the same. Obviously the iPad 2 is a little lighter. The main thing that I've noticed between the iPad 1 and the iPad 2 is, okay, on the iPad 1 you see it's kind of like the iPhone 4, right? It's got that little squared off um, edges, right? So when you're trying to type, you got to kind of go like this and kind of reach around. Um, that's what she said. It kind of is uncomfortable because you kind of, it's, it's, I know I'm going to sound like a baby, but it's uncomfortable, right? What they did with the iPad 2 is they made it obviously thinner, but they kind of rounded off the edges, kind of like the uh, iPhone 3G and the 3GS. So when you uh, are typing, it's a smoother, smoother feel. And it's actually, you know, because it's thinner, it's easier to reach over. Because I would honestly have to go, let's see, where's the notepad? There it is. When I would have to type things, I would have to go like this. Like when you want to get over the, to the middle of it, you know, the G and H, you would have to kind of like do that and then you go back to this, then you go back over here. Kind of, kind of annoying, right? I don't know how much that's worth to somebody, but somebody like me, um, it's, yeah, it's just, I'm complaining just to complain because that's what people who like Apple products do. They stand in line for hours for Apple products, but then they bitch and moan about them. That's just what they do. Whoa, that almost fell. Moving on. Okay, the next thing would be the speaker. This is the speaker on the iPad 2. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's, let's focus that in. You see it? I don't know. Right there, there it is. So that's the iPad 2 speaker. And then the iPad 1 puts it kind of at the bottom, right down there. So when you have it on your lap, when you have it on your lap, oh, we gotta fix the focus. So when you're like watching something, you have it on your lap, you're obviously covering it up. So it's kind of muffled. When it's um, on the back like that, you can have it on your lap. and. You can hear clearly now because the rain is gone. This is why I don't do reviews, guys. <laughs> oh, what next? Uh, the microphone. This is the microphone. And I've been hearing things uh, differently for the, um, the 3G and the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi models. Is that the, like, I guess there's like a plastic thing on the what, 3G models. And I guess it has worse uh, microphone capabilities. And I'm assuming that's the microphone right there on the uh, iPad 1. Uh, I haven't really noticed anything different for that. Um, so if you really want to talk into your iPad like this, uh, then you guys are going to have more of a problem, I guess. I don't know. You'll notice that more. I actually have not had a problem at all. I've been able to make Skype calls, video conferencing, um, and it's been fine. So microphone, uh, Steve Jobs, you did good on that one, I guess. One last thing to just pull apart for no reason. Um, just the difference here. You can see how thick it is right there, maybe it's a better angle, and then how flush. This is actually thinner than the iPhone 4, which is pretty impressive uh, to think about. See, Steve Jobs, you did something right here, but what'd you do with the iPhone 4? You couldn't make it thinner, huh? <laughs> Lame. All right, let's move on to, I guess, software. Let's do it. I wanna see how much faster the iPad 2 is compared to the iPad 1. Uh, so let's just do uh, a website called YouTube. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. So let's just kind of get it loaded up. One, two, three. A little bit faster, right? One, two, three. 
It's faster. It does load faster. Okay, let's do this one. Nice little shameless plug. InternetKillTV.com. Ready? One, two. This one is... Come on. Come on. Who's going? On? Who's going? In? Whoa. Wait, no, no. Oh, this is... This is testing it. Okay, this one won. It was testing it a little bit. Yeah, it's still loading. Look at that. So, obviously... It's a little faster. So, we did a website. Now, what do we need? Let's just do an app. Let's just do GarageBand. Let's see which one loads faster. Pretty much identical. Let's see here. Slightly quicker. Watch out, John Mayer. That was kind of that was close. Let's try. I don't know. Let's try the YouTube app. See if that does it. One, two, three. Identical. All right. Wasted guy. Coachella. One, two, three. Pretty much, pretty much identical. This one's playing first, that's weird. So I don't know. So as you can see, they're pretty, pretty identical. I'm not really seeing much of a difference. So if you really think the iPad 2 is like super duper fast, I, I a normal user, which is myself, um, not noticing too much of a difference. Oh, the FaceTime and the camera feature, I completely forgot about this one. Okay, iPad 1 um, doesn't have a camera. It very well should have. Um, I, it's just Apple. They give you just what you need, and then they add just one little thing to the next product, and then everyone's like, "I gotta buy that." And of course, ta-da! But if you think of it, like even PCs and things like that, uh, they do that as well. Everyone does that. It's just a business tactic. Okay, so the cameras on the iPad. Uh, obviously, there's one at the top, so you can do FaceTime right there. Uh, if I can figure that out, got it. A little dot at the top. And then there's another one right there. Two cameras. Um, no flash. So, again, with that whole, let me give you a little bit. And uh, next, the iPad 3, yeah, we'll give you a flash. And that's all they're gonna do. So, they have the FaceTime app, which is, uh, you know, FaceTime. They have the camera app, they have Photo Booth. So, if you go to Photo Booth, it's just like the Photo Booth if you have a Mac computer, um, where you get to, yeah, it's, you know, whatever. It's. Stupid, I know, it's novelty. And then if you go to the camera app, it's the same thing as your iPhone, no big deal. Um, if you have had an iPhone, so this is the back, this is the back one right here. And if you flip it over here, that's that's pretty much you guys. You can't see yourself because that light's kind of drowning you out. Um, obviously right here, you know, there's two features. There's camera and video, no big deal. The video, um, to be honest, it looks like crap when it's in low light. Um, for example, I'll cut to it right now. This is a video I'm gonna shoot entirely on the iPad. So this is shot completely on the iPad. This is gonna be a little bit abnormal conditions um, because I have that giant white box over there. But this is the quality um, and the sound quality and all that stuff, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see on this camera, you look pretty silly when you're walking around. Uh, I mean, for me, walking around with a camera, talking to myself, that's what I do. Uh, but holding this giant thing is just a whole nother level, uh, so <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably do it, I'll probably do it, and I'll switch, I'm, this is the back camera, so I'm going to switch to the front camera now. Okay, and uh, where are you? There, over there. Um, this is the front facing camera. Uh, this is facing the softbox. Um, lights up a little bit, there's a little grain obviously, but it's, it's an iPad, um, so it's, it's pretty impressive, right? Um, and there's the darker conditions right there. So yeah, that's the uh, front-facing camera. That's the uh, the camera feature. Um, what do you guys think? It's like, I feel like it's the same as the iPhone 4. This is the iPhone 4. I just wanted to do the camera so you guys can see the difference. Um, I'm facing the uh, the softbox right now, the light. I uh, see smile, awkward smile. And we'll go darker, 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 and low light right over here. Weird backlight. Do you guys see any difference with the graininess of the video? I find it really hard to see any difference, to be completely honest. And if you guys see any, you guys are magical. Some things I'm noticing, I think this one has a bigger sensor, so it's a lot wider. But for the most part, it's got the bad low light. Uh, the thing that sucks about it is there's no flash that you can turn on and light up that low light. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Um, there's really not much else that you guys are going to be really interested in knowing. Um, that's pretty much it between the iPad and the uh, iPad um, iPad 2. 
My recommendation, if you don't have uh, an iPad, then go for the iPad too. If you already have an iPad um, and you're really not a nerd like me, um, then you stick with your iPad for a while because the iPad 3 is going to come in and you're going to be like, I should have bought that. I should have waited. Ah, if Steve Jobs, you suck for coming out with something new. <laughs> So I hope this helps you guys make a little bit more of a decision. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I don't have a smart cover. Uh, I haven't made that jump. I, I, I like Apple products, but I don't feel that I'm, you know, I want to spend 50 bucks just to cover the screen because the back's going to get scratched. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to me. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope this was uh, useful, helpful, informative. Do you think the iPad uh, 3 is coming out in two months? Do you think the iPad 2 is worth it? Do you even like the Apple products in general? Uh, how about, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just have a PC versus Apple debate in the comments. Let's do it. Why not? We're going to have it anyway. Let's embrace it. So I'll start it off. Uh, PC, you, you suck so bad. You come in plastic boxes, not aluminum. What? Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe. This is on my iPhone channel. I usually do stuff that's not this high production. But I thought, you know, whatever. Let's just do it anyway. If you don't have no idea who I am, please subscribe to me on YouTube.com slash InternetKillTV and YouTube.com slash Charles Trippy. Those are my main channels. And I will see you guys later.